What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, X-Man 1991. Welcome back to another Throwback Thursday, Ruthless Aggression Era Rap. But before I do that, I want to pay my homage and respect to Akira Toriyama. If you don't know who that is, he was the creator of the Dragon Ball Z franchise. He died on March 1st and his death wasn't announced until last week. I did not see that coming. This Saturday, Tsunami will pay a tribute to Akira Toriyama by airing a marathon of Dragon Ball Z Kai from 2 a.m. to 6 a.m. So I want to pay my homage and respect to Victor Toriyama by showing these two Dragon Ball Z shirts. And I wore one of them at the anime convention too, a month before he died. And I got this game for the PS3. Dragon Ball Z Ultimate Tentakai. Tentakai. Yeah, I know the news about his death. I just haven't posted about it. But it's just sad that he's definitely going to be missed. Dragon Ball Z was a big part of our childhood. These three shows got me into anime. Pokemon, Sailor Moon, and Dragon Ball Z. Basically, Tsunami got me into anime, but Dragon Ball Z was one of those three anime shows that got me into anime. And he died a month before his 69th birthday on April 5th. So let's go ahead, bow our heads in a moment of silence for Akira Toriyama. He's definitely going to be missed. Thank you for all the memories of creating the Dragon Ball Z franchise. I mean, we didn't do about Dragon Ball Z we would have become fans of it. Rest in peace to Akira Toriyama, April 5th, 1955 to March 1st, 2024. Thank you. Today has been 20 years since WrestleMania 20 aired on pay-per-view. We all know this pay-per-view took place at the Madison Square Garden, baby, in the NYC where it all began. This was the first WrestleMania pay-per-view that I saw at a friend's house. And this was the last one that I pretty much tolerated with before I took a break for watching WrestleMania until WrestleMania 23. So before I show y'all the highlights, I got to read y'all the results. So the first match was for the United States Championship, John Cena versus Paul White. A fatal four-way tag team match for the Tag Team Championship, World Tag Team Championship. RVD and Booker T versus the Dudley Boys versus La Resid Stotts versus Mark Jindrak and Garrison Cade. Chris Jericho versus Christian. The three on two handicap match, Evolution versus The Rock and Sock Connection. This was The Rock's last WWE match until the 2011 Survivor Series. The Playboy Evening Gal Women's Tag Team match, Jackie and Stacey Keebler versus Tori Wilson and Sable. A Cruiserweight Open for the Cruiserweight Championship. Taichiri versus Ultimate Dragon versus Rey Mysterio versus Nunzino versus Jamie Noble versus Funaki, Akio, Billy Kidman, and Chavo Guerrero. Bill Goldberg versus Brock Lesnar with Stone Cold Steve Austin as the special guest referee. This was Goldberg's last WWE match until the 2016 Survivor Series and Brock Lesnar's last WWE match until the 2012 Extreme Rules. Another fatal four-way tag team match for the WWE Tag Team Championship. The world's greatest tag team, Charlie Haas and Shelton Benjamin versus the Basham Brothers versus the APA versus Too Cool. The hair versus title match for the women's championship, 
Molly Holly versus Victoria. The WWE Championship match. Kurt Angle versus Eddie Guerrero. Brother versus Brother. Hall of Famer versus Hall of Famer. Kane versus The Undertaker. That was the SmackDown main event. Now the Raw main event. A triple threat match for the World Heavyweight Championship. Chris Benoit versus Shawn Michaels versus Triple H. And now. Here are the highlights of WrestleMania 20. And I'll catch you tomorrow for one Attitude Era rant and one Ruthless Aggression Era rant. Shout out to soon-to-be birthday boy Mike Henry, Yusuke Knight, and Juggalo Jigsaw Gamer. A link to their pages will be in the description down below.